Authorities have identified the victim of a deadly fire on Springfield's east side. Sangamon County Coroner Cinda Edwards says that Dolores Spencer was pronounced dead at the scene. The fire took place inside a high-rise apartment complex home to dozens of elderly residents. ABC News Channel 20's Rebecca Thurston is live near 12th and Washington where the fire broke out last night. Now, Rebecca, you spoke with Fire Chief Ken Fuston. What did you learn about the high-rise fires? Here at Capitol Plaza Apartments, there are 11 floors. Last night, the fire broke out on the 10th floor. Take a, take a look at this. You can still see the black soot from the last night's fire. Chief Fuston says one floor can be challenging with all that gear, searching for survivors and navigating through layers of black smoke. Just imagine the challenges of doing all that on an 11 floor high rise. Sirens could be heard from blocks away as emergency crews rushed the scene of a fire at a senior living center, a high-rise building on Springfield's east side. One person would not make it out alive. 77-year-old Dolores Spencer was pronounced dead at the scene. We did receive the autopsy results back this morning and the victim died from smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but Chief Fuston says they believe it will be related to unattended smoking materials. We would encourage all residents of the high rise just to make sure that they know what the evacuation plan is for the building that they reside in. Fuston says his crews are prepared for fires like this one. We train on this quite regularly. Uh, but we only have actual working fires in high rises a couple times a year. It's a very labor intensive uh, operation to fight a high rise fire. And battling this blaze came with a handful of challenges. The elevators weren't operational when we first arrived. So then our units had to uh, basically carry all the equipment that we needed to put out the fire all the way up 10 flights of stairs. The fire was contained to one room. However, the sprinkler system forced more than a couple people from their homes. So there was uh, probably some water damage that occurred in the floors immediately below and the rooms immediately around the fire. Seven volunteers from the local chapter of Red Cross were dispatched to the scene of the fire to help displaced residents. There was 20 initially when we got on the scene that were affected by the fire. So of those 27 individual residents that may or may not be composed of you know, individual apartments, uh, we identified as having immediate needs. As for the evacuation of a high-rise complex, according to the International Fire Safety Code, evaluation plans, evacuation plans, however, should be distributed to all tenants by the owner or owner's agent of a property. We reached out to the owner here, but they opted not to make any comments on the situation. Live in Springfield, Rebecca Thurston, ABC News Channel 20. Well, Chief Buston tells us this is the second fatal fire in Springfield this year. The last one occurred back in January when a family of four died near the 900 block of North 9th Street.